So <clears throat> here is in the last video I said I'd show you the new, new buck area. So here it is. So uh, the beginning of the season, I threw down a whole bunch of Timothy hay. So it's coming up nicely. We're going to that little house that we bought right there. It's going to come into this area for the bucks. Probably put it down in about here somewhere under these trees. And then, so they'll have, both of the boys will have free reign in here. I've gone around, I've tested all the fence. I don't think they can get under any of it, but they're bucks, so we'll test that theory. This old shelter here is where the pigs were. So Graham's going to take this apart for me here. This is all coming apart. Let's zoom out here. So from this post here to the tree, he's going to, again, this is coming out. He's going to cut the fence at about the three and a half foot mark. Um, and put a hole big enough so I can get my screen scoop through. So right here at this, right in this area here is going to be the grain feeder. Then he's going to build me a hay feeder here and then we'll put the water right there. So he just needs to build a hole here big enough for me to put the grain scoop in and then a hole big enough for me to put the hay in. And then the water, we're just going to use the hose anyway, so I don't need a hole there. And then from the top of the the um, posts probably out to the length of the pallet um, he's going to build a, a sloped with the tin uh, for a roof area in this area so that the feed will stay dry hopefully or relatively dry and uh, when they're over here eating and drinking they will stay dry and uh, yeah so that's that's the intent. We'll see what actually happens and how it all looks. But with Colin coming tomorrow, my wonderful husband has the pleasure of doing this in the rain. Yay. So, well, good morning. I'm down here in the corral and we finished the buck area. <clears throat> so I wanted to show it to you. Um, Monday, no, Friday, I'm going to go and buy another house. So we're going to leave the one house that we have there for the girls. And I'm just going to go get another one. So come on with me. And this has got to get fixed. So I just came in here. And as you can see, they can get their noses in there. So we got to fix that. Because these two little schmucks are following me. Right, Liz? You're a schmuck. Anyway, so as I said before, this is the buck area, and you can see where we've got the babies currently. And the grass in here is really nice. There's lots of canola in here, so I'm hoping they eat it. I don't know, we'll see. We put this little platform down, Graham leveled it, and this is where the house is going to go. And uh, probably have it so the, uh, uh, the opening's facing east, so away from the tree, or we'll see how it, how it works, but... And then this is the feeding station. So basically where Liz is standing is where the water's gonna go. We've got a nice big round uh, thing that'll go in there. Um, we've already had rain and we haven't had any rain go into that thing yet. Those are spiders. So the two here, one will be mineral, one will be baking soda, and then the other two there will be for grain. And then Graham's handy dandy little feeder. Now there's the opening. Um, I'm probably gonna have to make, um, probably gonna have to take it back to here so that I can get my arm in to feed them. So why don't I wanna be outside feeding bucks? Anybody who has bucks knows it's disgusting. So they pee all over themselves. Um, cause apparently that makes the girls go crazy and they're just gross. So come on girls. 
so I just don't want to have that and okay so go see canola that's good um so I want to be able to be outside of the pen feed them and only actually have to go into the pen when vaccinating or health check doing their doing their nails stuff like that we have very um affectionate bucks uh so that'll be a little awkward but i mean i can buy those white suits and go in there so that's the buck area pretty excited i don't have any girls in heat right now so they're still out with them um if i can keep them with the babies for a little while the two girls and then having them out with the main herd like they're right now that would be ideal for me because that's kind of I want to keep them socialized as long as possible. There's the babies. I've got them out in this space right now. Um, but we've moved the mat, the net. Oh, need more coffee. Move the net down here. And we ran the extension cord. And, uh, I'll get them all in here in a little bit and leave them, they'll be here for the day. They did an amazing job up top and once I get them into the net, I'll show you because if I try to take them up there now, they'll just follow. But I'm gonna give them a little bit here and then move them over there. So this is the area that we have in maybe two days. You couldn't see under the caravan. This was at least knee height. Still needs to get mowed properly, but there's no more brush and weeds. The only thing they're not really eating are the thistles. So, Maybe they don't eat thistles, I don't know, or they're just not hungry enough to eat the thistles. But quite a, an amazing devastation of weeds. Okay. And along the creek, they didn't eat much. So it's still fairly long. But you can see the, the path Graham cut with the weed eater for the fencing and then over there so they did an amazing job gotta get the mower up here and mow now but yeah. maybe we should get some sheep and we'll just take it right down and nothing hmm. 